Hello, this is Red McNed, and I have something interesting to show you. Or listen, you. Sound. To sound you? You. To listen, you. L l listen. Listen, okay? Just listen. Okay. Alright, you you'll hear it soon. Oh, yeah. That means the reason why that's significant. We're finally in 1.9. The saga of Red McNed is finally in 1.9. But now that we're here, and it seems to all be working, and I've remembered to check if there was a new version out, we're finally here. We're finally in in a 1.9 land, which means a couple things. Over here at the Villager Breeder, I've been chatting up the villagers. I've been waiting very patiently oh so very patiently for these villagers to be in the new version and look at that i have a bottle i think one of these has uh pay three emerald for a bottle o oh, enchanting but i'm most curious about these librarians because oh that's i did not see that before actually that's oh that's probably a new one there's one of these though one of these might be this one here we go, Frostwalker 2. I've been waiting so patiently not to do business with these people, these lovely people, so I can start doing business with these lovely people in 1.9. The thing is, now there's this cool thing called mending on the block. And these kids are talking about it. I'm like, hey, these kids are cool. They're talking about it. That's a cool thing. So I'm going to work at getting mending on stuff especially because I do a lot of digging and, and things. If I can just have my instruments of construction last forever, that's gonna be great. Uh, what? Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't, <laughs> this is kind of an interesting view. I guess there are still some render things. A lot of that's on my side, so I'm not too worried about it. But speaking of the mob spawner, collision boxes. Apparently they're a thing now. And that makes it so, even though some of these... Oh, by the way, that's really nice. I love these sweeps. Just sweeping the legs feels more like sleeping legs. S sleeping legs? Yeah, sure, why not? But as they fall, they just like push each other out of the sides. So I think this whole thing's gonna need a redesign. But a promise is a promise. Or I guess a whatever I said last time is a whatever I said last time. Which I think was along the lines of, we're finishing this today. I finished doing the carving down the mountain inside. Let's get up here. There we go, that's a better view. I feel like that's a lot cleaner, smoother of a decline. And we always want smooth declines here on the saga. So I also, the torches kind of mark where the water is. So that gives you kind of an idea. Or maybe the water, the water marks where the water is actually. That, that's even better. So, while carving away at this, there were some casualties in the wall, and I decided that's okay, because we need to have everything go down in a smooth, um, smooth, smooth traject trajectory. Here, I'll go over there. But yeah, the circle, I think that uh, it came out to here, and I've been slowly digging down, trying to make this smooth. I put this here just to keep the water out. But, you know what, maybe I will have to deal with this zombie. Oh, no, it's stupid. It's being stupid. I filled in some of that up there with dirt just because it was leaking over the walls and I didn't have any sand at the time. But, if this ground is where it needs to be, I can go ahead and actually fill out the rest of this ring and then treat it as if the ground was always like this, which would mean actually filling it all in with water. Um, so I guess that'll be in the near future. Actually, yes, it will be because we're finishing today. Hold myself to that. But we have this slope down, and I went all the way to this here bottom. I took out the gravel on the bottom, and this is going to be kind of the final funnel down. I'm planning on just having these kind of edge slowly toward this, I guess, shape. So if I can smooth out these, still kind of make a slightly funnel-y shape then I'll be pretty happy. So I'll probably go along and do stuff like this, 
with the pick that actually does cool things. There we go. And just keep kind of doing this stuff and take out the stuff that's in the middle. You have another layer done. Bada bing, bada booms. And you're done in the dooms. So I'll check back in when, uh, Oh, it's kind of interesting to watch. Imagine if that was money. Like, it was on your dresser. And you're like, wait, what? Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Buddy? Alright, not too shabby. Not too shabbly. I did not... I, I thought that this would... Um, I, I guess I have a few things to talk. I thought this would go all the way down kind of slowly but I decided that it should be a little bit narrower because I'm starting to have other thoughts about this funnel I think that having it go straight down like I thought it would before seems a little odd so what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat it with a tape I'm going to taper it down to nothing and then have this be an area that it eventually kind of it should be like down to maybe one column or a, of air or just all pure water by the end and really dark down there so it'll be really mysterious so I'm, I'm thinking about what to do got some dirt here I think the ground is almost where I want it to be I'm probably going to stop taking away stuff and start adding to the sides um, so I, I don't have nearly enough of this for this but I'll just jump on down here I'll probably do things like this. Since I'm not really sure what exactly I want to do, I'll start small and slightly insignificant and go from there. So this is probably going to be a really slow process. But I'm thinking that the corners can probably go up the most. And it's so like this, this, and this on each side can have a tower that doesn't go all the way to the top to the top but like stuff like this and then on the inside of that I'll probably do other things so I'll get that going alright serious amount of work has been done and it's enough by 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 bye bye by that mean that it's almost done by that I mean let's let's get all the words right shall we I know it's it's tough for me sometimes this is the last part that I have to get rid of out here, but this is all filled in. So while I get rid of it, I might as well talk about what I did to end this. Alright, so these torches are where the last level was. What I did to taper this in to create the rest of this funnel going down is I didn't mind it being consistent, just uh, you know, it didn't have to be some some weird pattern. So every two down, I basically added a thing. So in this case, it was the corner, the very corner. I went two more down, added another thing. So I went for these side pieces. And I went two down, and you know, it, it's mostly just guessing at filling out a circle. It was these parts, and then after that, it was this. Two more down, it was these. Two more down, it was that. I started to go by fours because there were less things to really add. By this point, and remember, this is the the water won't be where the blocks are. It'll be on top of the blocks. So at this point, there's only going to be a four, like a two by two in the middle, that won't have water in it, because water will be on this, on these, and by this point, water will be hitting these sides and flowing this way. That'll be the end of the air pocket. So it'll be way down here. Well, if you wanted to see what it looks like down here, it is a strange, kind of dark, twilighty sort of area. It's very, very strange looking. Um, but here's here's the shape of the uh, the funnel. You can kind of see it because of this essentially flashlight that's like kind of shining straight up. I think it's quite formidable actually and this is gonna probably be scary looking actually also since I filled in this uh, all the circle now I had to make this nice little you know stairway to get out of here right nearly there so next we have this 
is filling in this with the rest of the ocean. So we're sort we're we're basically doing the ocean. The best way to do this is to have buckets. Luckily there's an ocean here. This makes this really easy. Basically what I'm trying to do here is the opposite of what I'm trying to do in there. I want this to all become source blocks and fill in like a good ocean should. So in order to do that, I'm gonna put water at the lowest points I could find. What that's gonna do is it's gonna make some basin uh no what? It's gonna make some areas for source blocks to be made. And that's really what I want, is just this to fill up with source blocks. But for that to that to happen, you have to you have to hunt down and uh, find all of these. And some of them are not as easy to see as you might think. So I'm going to keep at this. And I'm going to keep doing layer by layer. I like to go one layer at a time. And eventually, this will be at sea level. So when I get to that point, we'll be on to the most important step of this whole operation. Well, looks like there's another step before uh, we get to this. Uh, to deal with this, which usually happens if you're trying to, oops, if you're trying to fill in water too fast. So it's kind of like the game's version of hiccups, like if you drink or eat too fast. The only way I really know how to reliably get rid of that is to actually go down to the water and try to swim up at the corners of each layer. If you get any resistance at all, put a water bucket right there. Oh, I found one. So see how see how the rate that I go up there? Well look what happens when I'm in this corner. It is a lot slower. It's fast here, but initially it's a lot slower. Then it's fast. So that's where I would put a bucket of water. And now the rate's really fast. So basically I'm hunting those down. Here's another one. And if it doesn't fix it the first time, that means it goes up more layers. So um, it's going to be, uh, oh, there's another one. Kind of tediously me doing this. So. All right, so the water's all good. It's all watery all the way around. Let's have one last view from the top before this all gets filled in. Kind of edge down here. Just careful, careful. Yeah. Now for the really, 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 really important part. It's making it so the water does not fill this all in once this is done. I will, you'll, you won't see me for a couple days, which is not actually that unordinary. You might see, not see me for a couple weeks if this, if I, if I mess up this, this step. I, I might be inconsolable. So, that being said, we simply won't mess it up, right? So let's not do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a spot, I'm going to make it very clear which spot I picked, because it's the only spot it has a brown tower next to it that can be seen by um, enough of this place. Every single one of these, every time there's a sand block, I have to be able to see the block underneath it from any side. So that's good. That's bad. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's bad. I did not illustrate, I, I talked emphatically about why this is important in the in the Whirlpool tutorial, but I didn't really show literally what happens if you don't do it. So I'm going to go and hand it over to me in creative mode. So me in creative mode, take it away. Go, take it. Here we are at behind the scenes of Red McNed, where a lot of planning tends to take place. This is where... I was testing designs and mechanics for this whirlpool. I'm here to show a little bit about what happens with whirlpools. If you do and do not do what you're supposed to do. If you do what you're supposed to do with the water towers, I guess also. That's the ring up there. When you take away the sand, here I can uh, I can just do that right here. When you take away the sand, 
as sloppily or unsloppily as I am. The water comes in, water falls in this nice little trough here, but since there's a gap there, it can't make any source blocks, so it never goes any further, even if there's ground next to it. So it doesn't actually matter what anything is here, even, you know, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't make any, even if it flows in here, it won't make any new uh, source blocks. And you can actually get some pretty strange shapes because of this. And like I said, it's only that it, it doesn't have to have a trough to go into. It's just, it has to have that ledge. It has to fall off of that ledge somehow. If you don't do that, I could, I could, I guess I could either show it there or show it here. I'll, I'll show it here. If you don't make this little thing here, you end up getting this. This is gonna hurt, hurt my heart a little bit. When you take away that lovely trough and watch, watch the horror, the horror. The horror. <laughs> spot, 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 spot. Look back here. You can see it's all just filling in. Don't want this happening. Do not want this happening. You don't want any of this happening. Still let it happen. Follow my guide. My guidance. Hopefully it won't happen. Anyways, let's get back. I think you understand. I guess my point is... I said, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to have to have horrible things happen. And, <laughs> you know, I'd, 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 I care. I care about you not having horrible things happen to you. So I'm actually going to go around this, like, a couple times just to verify it. And really make sure that I don't screw this up, because I really want it to work. I don't want what happened to that demonstration to happen here. So I'll get back to you when that's done. All right, I'm I'm satisfied. Uh, I've gone around. One of the things that can make this less obvious, less obvious, and as if it was really necessary, is there there is this kind of strange ring going around the sides. So what I like to do is just even it out a little bit, or just make the train inside just look a little bit. Less like it's, uh, I don't know. The, the point is to make it not look like it's not natural. So make it look natural. Probably do the same thing here. Although there's a break here, so I'm probably not going to take this all the way in. I could just take out all the gravel, and that would probably be good. But I'm not going to. Also, I would much rather do this type of thing before the water's in. I don't want to even touch the ground after, um... All, all this stuff is done. Oh, we have a uh, the, the, the ghost. A go 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 ghost. A go 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 ghost. Yeah, I wasn't used to ghost blocks back in. Uh... All right, I did a little carving. I think that the ground is where I want to be. For chopping down these sand walls. I would recommend starting at the lowest point since water rushes downward and if I start at the top and then slowly work my way down I'd be fighting the current the whole you know, all along the wall there so this just makes it easier although I would say make sure you don't accidentally hit the stuff on the bottom because that's important to have stick around so I'm just gonna you know be real tactful like how I do this looks like we got up oh, there's the first bits of uh, water beautiful now, this isn't a process I wouldn't mind I, I wouldn't hurry this along I'd probably just like stand here like this with just enough distance to highlight the block and then just like hold down the click button if you have a good shovel and eventually get a nice wall beautiful so I'm going to knock out all of the walls. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, uh, <coughs> all right. I think we're ready for the adding the water part. So I'm going to start with the outside ring. And I'm going to fill in everywhere except 
for whenever there's a corner. So like, I keep that, put water here. And every time there's a corner piece, I'm gonna leave that blank. And I hop up to the next one and go until a blank corner piece. The reason I'm doing that is if I put one here, then this creates an infinite source right here in this corner. And if this is a source, this is a source, creates one there, source here, there's a source there, creates one here. That's how the chain reaction goes that fills in all this and gets rid of this nice slope. And I don't want to get rid of this nice slope because it's nice and I like it. I'm going to just do do this thing. And if we want to keep it from filling in, just never put anything in this corner. Later on, when it doesn't when it isn't going to be detrimental to the to this whole process, we'll fill it in. But for now, I'm going to leave it blank. This, that's nothing but corners, so we'll, we'll get back to this. I'm going to do this exact same thing, starting from the middle here, down here, and then we'll talk about this. We're going to have to bend a little rules to make this work. Just little rules, though. Uh, just make sure to know not to put source blocks too close to each other. So, since this splits right in the middle, this is the center where all the water was being parted. I can leave that blank, put these two here, there, and there, and it reaches the rest of this. And with that, we have the general shape of this first ring. Go on the second ring, it's the exact same thing, although you'll notice that there's spots where it doesn't flow. Um, we won't worry about these for now. That's that's none of our concern. And most of our concern is just getting these parts right. I would have to admit this is a little bit more difficult to uh, to see, but if you really are not sure if you put a source block in the wrong spot, a source block would not go straight sideways right here. So this, not a source block. In fact, you can try to pick it up too, and yeah, that's not picking up. All right, this is what I wanted to have happen. These are starting to make their paths and fill in the rest of it so that we don't have to. It's not perfect though. There's a couple of these on this side, and exactly the same ones over there. There's the rest of these, but I think at a certain point they'll all fill themselves in really quickly. All right, yep, there it is. That last one joined it up. And it looks like it's smooth all the way down. So that's one corner of it. All right. Yeah. 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 Let's take a peek. Yep. Oh, we are one step closer, my friends. That's starting to look pretty real. It also looks real. And by that, I mean real interesting. Is this area. It's a kind of... I don't know, the best I can describe it is like a... A reverse aquarium, a reverse fish tank. It's uh, kind of cool looking. Unfortunately, this isn't uh, what this is going to finally look like. But for the moment, it's kind of neat to see. So everything's gone without a hitch. No hitches so far. Hitches are non-existent. And nothing has done anything weird up there. Everything's normal, nominal. So that means we can go on to the final and crucial step to get right, removing this. This big old thing. As you can see, the water's in place. The sides are good. It's just a matter of doing it. So how I do it is get rid of the first, get rid of the lowest layer first and remove one layer at a time. Go any faster or do it in any other order, I cannot guarantee the results. Now this is going to be a little strange because I'm not in a mode that's readily easy to do this. It looks like I can just do this, do this with the space bar and be fine. So, I don't know. It, things could be worse. All right. I've done a few layers and you can see that it's keeping its shape. This is also expected. But you can see the funnel starting. You can see that when you're in the water, 
you can kind of you can see the shape of it. I I will I do have to say, I think I've found another item to put on the list of things that are easier to do in creative mode. That list is probably very long, but this I, I'm getting better at it. But this is me being a professional at it right now. This is this is the best I can do. Oh crap. <laughs> I basically have to uh, fight the streams. My my thumb is actually becoming the new pinky as far as finger that's getting overworked because I have to bob and push the up and out direction buttons very specific times when they're needed. <laughs> and sometimes I just fall out of here. Yep. It's, I, I know this is going to get worse when it gets taller too. But that's okay. It's gonna be worth it. It's all gonna be worth it. Where's the party? Uh, just cranking along here. Just been really busy. Just can't stop. I'm I'm in that point where I want to see it done, and I just I can't stop. Uh, this yep. It's so far so good. I'm I'm saying it a lot, but that's because it's so far so good a lot. So, also this is actually getting a little bit easier now that the top is kinda going outward I can uh, I can find the grooves a little easier where there's a uh, like if, if you get the sweet spot like here you don't have to push the buttons cause you're just in falling water so you can hit these the water falls and water falls and this keeps expanding it's doing its thing. It's exciting. You can see, uh, you can see where the uh, the edges are. And you see the inside. It's holding its shape. So let's keep let's keep at it. Let's keep going. Woo! That is a lot of flowing water. So I've reached the end. The end of. Luckily, not my patience. I've got plenty of that. Just because this, <laughs> this is looking really cool. Um, uh, the, the part where I need to start paying attention though is where, this is where, is where I, I left out corners where there's water that's supposed to be in. So I thought that I would show this part. I think that it's flowing fine everywhere except for, uh, I'll, I'll deal with that later. First thing, I'll just do this quarter is I found out that in the flat spots like this I can just you know go ahead and uh, this is actually a lot easier <laughs> a lot a lot easier than swimming and uh, try and knock out blocks because for some reason when you're standing still versus when you're swimming even with aqua affinity even with affinity to aqua you go way faster Oop. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, oh, wait, wait, nope, nope. Okay. Oh, another cool view. All right. No! Okay. <laughs> All right, so this part. Good time to have a lot of buckets. Uh, go over here. Hold down. It's lovely. Lovely. So, I'm going to start over here where it's more apparent and go to where it's less apparent. I'm going to look along the parts where there's nothing. Each of these corners, if they look weird, like that looks kind of weird, put a block there. Alright, that's a little bit more normal. It's flowing outward. We're good. This looks weird because there's nothing there. Run another one of these. Yes, we're going to keep going. Stuff like that. Yep, that's really unordinary. This, uh, um, hmm, yeah, so anything, so anything unordinary. If you ever see anything that looks really weird, and you really don't know why it's happening, you just correct it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. So now this part can be taken care of. Oh, I'm getting choked up. For these, you just break the block. And you see the water's flowing into it. It won't do that if you put down the source block. Now the thing is, 
This is going to turn into a not flowy block. Basically all of these are going to be non-flowing looking. But that's pretty much what I have to accept. Like up here especially, there's going to be a bunch of them. So really it's just a matter of doing this and doing that. You guys, that took so long. But I think it's going to be worth it. Because check this out. You see, I hope you can see that. This is pretty much, oh, it's so close to being done. It just has this ring out here. And look at this squid. They have no care that they're dancing around in a whirlpool. That's that actually kind of, it takes away the menace a little bit. If you see little animals playing in your, uh, I don't know, this is supposed to be, it's supposed to be dangerous. Get out of here. But there's one last step. And it's going to feel very official feeling. The train wheels are going to come off, and by that I mean that, what, what? And this ring is going away. And we'll see if this holds up. Does it, does it stay? I'm, I can't wait. I gotta find out. So that's a little strange. Not gonna worry too much about that. Alright, so this filled in. I think it's supposed to fill in. So we'll find out. That filled into there. So I'm seeing a pattern. It fills in right at the edge where all of this was. These, these turn to source blocks. So there should be three in a row here. Uh, close enough. Close enough. I like close enoughs. Actually, that just doesn't even have to be close enough. It's it's pretty much doing it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, well, it's kind of nighttime, so it's hard to see actually. But oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. You know, maybe I could have did something <laughs> different with uh, fix that up a little bit. But I really can't complain. Oh, let's get let's get daytime. I gotta see this. And of course, there's weird stuff underwater that's uh, making it difficult to see. Difficult to see makes it difficult. But oh, I can see. Wait, no, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Round in the corner, I can see. I can see a little bit of the outline there. I don't know if it's gonna come through in the video. Oh man, this is cool. This is school. <laughs> this is school, apparently. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the edge. That wouldn't be still there if this wasn't working. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so cathartic. This took so long. <laughs> oh, it's like... It's like the opposite of a walk of shame. It's a walk of triumph. It's the final stretch. It's the um, it's the big thingy at the end of the other things. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I'm gonna say that's cool and school a couple more times. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll just <laughs> I should just take you guys for this whole trip. I was gonna cut this after a, a couple block breaks, but like, you know, I feel like I deserved this. This, I worked very hard for this time, breaking these off, and oh man, the rewards, the rewards are rewarding. Still the squid playing around in there, but you know, that's, that's what happens in the wild. Sometimes you got a squid, sometimes you got a whirlpool. I don't think I'm going to chase these. I think that I'm going to donate them. They'll be the first offerings I give to the Whirlpool. Is the pieces that were used to make it. Let's pause for a second. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't pause. It just keeps looking better and better. It's not filling in. This isn't magic, folks. These aren't magical folks. And this also isn't magic, folks. What you see is what you get.
I'm getting weird render. Oh, the sh the shape worked out really good too. Oh man, like I I worked I I spent a lot of time on that getting that. Oh, you know it's gonna look really cool. Is seeing this from the the top of the mountain. Now I've been doing progress reports up there. <laughs> Teacher signed progress reports, so uh, we can get get one last one. We can mark it with an O for outstanding. I think that's what teachers do. An F for fantastic. Well, I could go up there and like there could be a chunk update, and like this isn't here anymore, and then I might not be here anymore for a while. No, let's think positive. Positive thoughts. Super positive thoughts. So not not got nothing bad to say. No, I've got nothing bad to say. Double negative cancels out that statement. Oh, this is... I might I might be quiet for a little bit. Sometimes you you get emotional. I, that that wasn't me leaving. If you if you heard a door shut. I haven't figured out how to do that. Oh, the final block. Boom! I'm not going to look at it yet. That's for later. I'm not going to look at it underwater yet. I get up to a high point in my career. In my, my Minecraft career. <laughs> Actually, this is probably the most advanced thing I've ever tried to make. We finally made the trick through the through the the, the the mountain things in search for the natural the eighth wonder of the world the maelstrom it's said to be over this cliff let's take a look oh there it is there it is i you know what's really sad is that since i'm recording in 480p this might not even show up it looks great to me though oh it looks so great <laughs> It's beautiful. Ooh, I should go to the diving board. So, I don't know if you can tell or not. That's it. It looks like a freaking black hole in the water. That's essentially what a whirlpool is. It disappears somewhere way down there. That looks really ominous, actually. And it, it stretches. The water is altered all the way along this. It goes, I'm actually panning this quite well. I'm surprised. I thought I would get like really squiggly. There's so much flowing water down there. <laughs> For some reason, there's lighting glitches too. I'm not sure how those uh, popped up. I feel like this is the next necessary part. I have to jump. I have to jump. I'm gonna make it dramatic. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Red with Ned. This is where he goes into another dimension because he jumps into the whirlpool. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks cool. I guess I didn't sign off quite yet because I'm still looking at it. <laughs> it stretches really far out too. It's far out, man. Oh, what's this? Yeah, I built this before. The adventure has to continue. This has been the saga of said McNed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.